subscribe welcome to my channel again i am erin and i am a certified hypnotherapist certified transpersonal hypnotherapist licensed rtt practitioner i'm a member of the national association of transpersonal hypnotherapists and international association of counselors and therapists and i also have a degree in business so that is my little area of expertise and value i can add to the youtube world so today i had a question come through one of my comments on another social page and so I decided to make a video about it and put it across all my socials. The question was, who is the easiest person to hypnotize? And well, let me just tell you, the easiest person to hypnotize is you. Yes, you are the easiest person to hypnotize. No, I'm just playing. But like seriously though, the easiest person to hypnotize, the easiest type people to hypnotize are creative people. People that are good at visioning stuff in their minds. Like if someone is good at picturing images in their mind, then they're going to be good at hypnosis because it's a lot of imagery and stuff like that. Yeah, they say that um, people that are more intelligent and creative are easier to hypnotize. Uh, I think it has a lot to do intelligent because they have the ability to comprehend what's being um, suggested to them. From my experience, the easiest people I have hypnotized are people that are skeptics, it is their first time being hypnotized. Those are my favorite people that have never been hypnotized. Those are my utmost favorite people to work with because they don't have any expectations of how it's supposed to be or like, you know, they don't have any bad experiences in the past or anything. You know, they don't have any limited beliefs about hypnosis. So I love people that have never been hypnotized. Skeptics, people that are doubting you, doubting hypnosis, they're actually pretty easy to hypnotize. That's been my experience, and I've heard a lot of other people say that too. However, I do not recommend somebody that has not had very much sleep to be hypnotized because I've had experience where someone didn't have much sleep and ended up lucid dreaming, and it wasn't really that good of a session, so I had to end it. With that said, the visualizing thing in your mind, some people, do hypnosis differently. Some people visualize, see, actually see pictures. Some people just have a sense of knowing, a sense of feeling. That doesn't mean one is better than the other. It's just a way people are. It's just, you know, different types of way people experience hypnosis. However, anybody can be hypnotized. Some people just take a little longer than others. People that are good at visualizing stuff in their mind, dreams to work with, okay? If you have a hard time visualizing stuff in your mind, um, you're gonna have a little bit harder time getting concepts and your mind's gonna have to work a little harder to figure out what you want it to do. That doesn't mean that it's just impossible, you just have to condition your mind a little harder. You have to work at it and just like any other thing practice makes perfect and actually hypnosis does not lose its power over time actually hypnosis gets more powerful over time so anyways guys that's all i have for today i hope that answered from your question to that person that asked that question a couple days ago yeah i hope that was good enough for you till next time Love and light to you all.